Welcome to this series where we are playing Reforged Eden 111 for Imperium Galactic Survival. In the last part we took down this abandoned assembly yard and at the end of the video I said that I was going to in this part loot down this base but uh, a bit of an apology what I did was is I started doing a little bit of looting and end up looting virtually through the whole assembly yard so what I will do rather than rehash what I actually looted is if we come across another one what I will do is we'll do the abandoned assembly yard again but we'll do it in a slightly different way with maybe paying a little bit more attention to the spirit of the POI so that's a possible opportunity for the future now in this part if you look on the right hand side of the screen you'll see that I've changed to the mission to kill commanders. It's called Hard Target. And at the moment we've caught, killed four out of 35 commanders. And the reason for that is that what I want to do is see if we can get into some of these POIs over here. And I've been looking at this before we got started. We got level one temple there. I'm not sure about these two vehicle depots, but we've also got this power station that's kind of a little bit out on its own. So what, what I'm going to do is use the SV to check out the temple and see how strong the resistance is there. And if it's if there's overlapping fire, we may have to leave it. So we're just going to come in here, take off, and we're... I'm going to go to third person. Whoops. And um, we'll just go to the map. I just want to put a tag on the temple. It's two point kilometers in that direction. I think I've got. I've got probably enough ammunition to take out outer defenses. I say, I don't think the temple itself is that much of a problem. I think the real problem is whether it's got overlapping fire support from the other areas. Of course, there's also ground troops. There's the temple there. You can see the other bases in the background. Uh, we'll, we'll get rid of the tag, as we can see it now. And that's just going to be a little bit annoying. Actually, I think what we'll do is we're going to fly around this way and see if we can attract any any fire from these this base over here. This is a major vehicle report. Now we're getting ground attacks, which I think which is could be a little bit of a problem. I think there's quite a few turrets on here. Let's just see if we can do. Uh, Uh, that might be... Looks like it's actually shielded. Uh, uh, that could be prove a problem. I think what we'll do... Uh, it's the same... Oops. Uh, just, we're getting errors. So that's not good. Right. I think what we will do is we'll change strategy. We'll see about this power station. Okay. Of course, we're going to have to fly out over the mountains. I say the temple is good, but at the same time, the problem with the fact that it's got a shield is that it may cause a bit more of a problem. Right, we've got now the what we've got here is we've got a listening post, a patrol vessel HQ, and we've also got the power plant. Now, as far as I know, the patrol vessel HQ doesn't have any um, weapon, kind of battery weapons on it so again we're just going to take off the so we don't have a threat from there so it looks like we may not actually have any shielding on this area Oh, 
were. Okay, we're just going to get rid of the. There's a good demonstration there that you can still miss. So we got the weapons down from this side. There's another gunship hanging around. I think he's hanging around on the other side. We're not actually getting that much in the way of uh, ground attacks as well. Um, okay, right, we're just gonna reload this as well. We're gonna get rid of the turret on the other side. The only downside of this power station is there's a possibility there won't be a commander in it. I guess the secondary explosion. I think that is there one round here? No, so we've kind of got control of the base. Now, I think this would be a good um, time to say as usual, a big thank you for all your comments and feedback. Somebody did make a very interesting suggestion. The fact that they actually created a mini base with a cloning station on it to actually um, deploy when attacking bases like this. Um, we're going to jump out very quickly and I actually quite like that idea but I mean what I tend to do is use the uh, I think what we'll do is we'll bring up the capital vessel for fire support yeah what I tend to use is um, and what I tend to use is if I come into here is I deploy the survival tent because the survival tent can actually fulfill that role as a spawn point um so but i oh, but at the same time i do like the idea of a um using a cloning station because a cloning station is a little bit better anyway we're going to get back to the assembly yard now what i'm going to do is i'm not going to dock both ships i'm going to leave the wayfarer by the assembly yard because uh, there's a possibility that I will use, still use the blocks from the assembly yard here to do a bit of rebuilding uh, as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring up the NS, uh, NS, NS, NSC. So we're going to bring the NSC up here. The other interesting thing is, is while I was actually looting the, um, the um, assembly yard down, because I deployed a core, I actually had a base attack, which was quite interesting as well. So we're just going to move forward and dock the ship. Uh, come on, game. You can do it. Yeah, turn the thrusters off. Yeah, so I actually had a base attack, but to be honest, with two capital vessels with top turret mounted turrets, um, it wasn't much of a contest. Um, I think what I will do is we'll shove that in there. Obviously, I didn't empty the this out. Um, we'll put that in there. Yeah, this is what's left over from what I actually looted. I'm going to leave some of this stuff in here. Um... I don't need the power cells. Was it fuel and oxygen? I think I'll put the emergency oxygen in there. And then the rest of the trade stuff can be... We're okay. So we'll just get back to player. We need to eat some food and meds. So we'll just eat a pizza. And then we're... Uh, wrong ship. Okay, we might have a problem here. I'm actually docked right over the top of the uh, um, hatch. 
Oops. That's better. It might explain why I was actually having a docking problem. That's better. And we're out. Go this way. And uh, the shield on, we're going to need it probably. Power station is just there. What we'll do is we'll put the ship down just behind here so that it's the actual POI will give some protection. Like that. Um, turn the thrusters off, leave the shields on. Just make sure we've got um, plenty of ammo in the. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think we got. Um, probably could do with a little bit more of the 30mm. So, what we'll do is. I mean here um, it's better it's better to have too much than not enough um I will make uh enough for five hundred um five hundred thirty millimeter Uh, got you. Right, we're we will loot this guy. I think we're reasonably safe. Actually, picking up some railgun ammunition that could be quite useful. Well, I suppose I do like my railguns. Uh, it's just that they're a little bit slow firing, or when you're first starting out. I think what we'll do is I'm gonna put put you about there. Well and what this will do is give overwatch over the entrance. Aha, uh -huh, looks like we got this guy here, that's we Okay, um, that was a bit unfortunate. I think that block there is damaged. Yeah, it is. Looks like we've taken a little bit of fire underneath again. So I need to kind of patch the floor up here. Can't afford to let the floor. This is something that's quite important when you're using a ship like this is that you do make sure it stays, you know, the blocks are repaired. So, uh, um, another little punt from, okay, it looks like, Aha. Okay, we're not going to worry about that drone. Uh, right, what we'll do is we'll just take a quick look inside and we'll... Yeah, this is a fairly familiar POI. It's not Particularly that big. In fact, the only possibility of a commander will be inside of here. But you never know, we can always go in and take a look.
I think there'd be a guy around here. Somebody running behind me. All back. <laughs> uh, I think I can see there's a turret. Over there. It's a bit difficult to tell actually. That's no, not. There's a way up there. Right, we'll go round this way. Um I always thought the core is in there, but it maybe it is. Right, we're we'll, we'll take this. I'm almost certain the core's in here. Um, I think we're going to a heavy magazine. Here's the core. Um, game we discover. That's that's down to pure overconfidence. <laughs> um, that's all right. We can spawn onto the capital vessel. Yeah, that was, that's just me being too overconfident. I was I missed the turret, but that's okay. We can spawn into here. Just want to check the state of my armor. Yeah, my armor shot. Okay, how to pick the heavy armor off? Um, go and yeah I should have repaired the armor um, before I started that again a little bit of a fail this is one of the downsides when there are when you're recording and there's like big gaps between recording sessions that's why I normally like to do recordings on every other day but of course at the moment that is not possible and apologies for that guys this one is because i'm probably trying to do too much and at the same time there's uh i've i've got because of this time of the year uh i it's only some days i can only ever do one one recording and and that's down simply to uh other you could say non-channel related pressures um all right well just take that um uh, we got the rocket launcher we can just reload it Just make sure nobody else has spawned in here. All right. Probably the turret is just over there. There it is. Actually, we could probably get in with the... Save the rocket ammunition. There we are. And then we can right this looks like this is kind of shielded all the way around but i think what we can do should be able to do is get in through that capacitor so if we come here there it is okay uh, reload
Oops, don't need to shoot that. Right, we're get round to here. And of course we are looking for potential commanders. Maybe there's no commanders in here. This is the downside of small bases. Uh, you actually, I won't tell us. Nothing here. Go up. I think this is just an opening. At the... Now I don't think they actually spawned up here. What I should have done is come in close and force the spawn. Um, I think this is the the switch to destroy the core. So what maybe what I should have done is come up here and done it. But of course I won't use the capacitor as a back door. Um, right, there's a right. We're hooked to. Uh, Actually, we're just hooked to here. And then we're... Oh, well, no commanders, but... Uh, we'll just salvage in. We'll certainly take that little collection there. Again, okay, we can just take out some bits and pieces. Um, very quickly, do that. Let's see, let's just see what else is in here we got. Got some alien devices we can just flip very quickly through here one thing i did get this is just reminding me i did get several undelivered um cargo boxes from the assembly yard which is pretty good uh, we just need to find a trading station to be able to sell them off okay um while we're here we're still the uh, let's put it straight into fuel and oxygen. It's only 706, but that's okay. Um, fuel, one, five, uh, one, five, three, four. Let's pick the core up again. Now, this has got some fairly useful side windows which we could take for the safety in plates this is some ways if you find windows like this this is actually better than mining because um what you're getting is the safety in plates that you would make if you refine those the safety in ore so you're kind of not only are you getting the safe in plates that you'd probably need for there i mean sometimes you do need a little bit of safium for other things the actual raw safium ore but it's not that common but we can pick up this here of course the holographic stuff will give us some little bits and pieces i don't think there's anything else in there at the bottom of the core All right we're just going to go round now and I'm just go in look round here um, pretty sure I saw a loot box in here we just see there's a did I miss the loot box or have I come down too far no that goes up okay um, uh, this is just an extension of down here isn't it uh, I don't think there'd be anything in the center here no uh, okay um, maybe there wasn't a loot box here just my imagination Yeah, this here is another back door. You can blast your way in here. Of course, that gets you next to the turret. Um, nothing else in here. Just 
have a good look round. Of course, we got some large generators we can take as well. Take those out. Take the medium. Um, there's a loot box here. Where take actually we can put this into main storage. So we got some more kind of bits and pieces here. Um, and of course we should get another kind of loot box over here as well. So we're getting lots of basic materials, but nothing else. Okay, we're kind of feeling the cold again. Um, I've got some drills, a um, little bit of ammo, gun shells. And I think that is about it, guys. Uh, nothing particularly that special. Of course, because we're cold, we're hungry. We'll take out that. Um, these are just steel blocks. That's and we're just gonna. Oops. Jetpack's not on. <sighs> right, we're gonna move on. Now we've got the vehicle depot thing here. Now this one's in a bit closer to this level 3 bastion and battlements. So we may need to be a little bit more careful this time. Um, let's see if we can wake them up. Now I haven't done the patrol vessel HQ for a little while. Now there's a couple of reasons why you'd want to destroy this. Not that uh, the actual patrol vessel is a major problem. What we will do is get in on the listening post. Um, get rid of you. Now the listening post is very similar in layout to the what we've just done. You can see we've got uh, a turret on this side and, and then a turret on the other side. I don't think we really need to worry about the turret on the other side because it's kind of we kind of blindsided them here. But what I do want to do is just check out this uh, patrol vessel HQ. As I say this used to be a absolutely brilliant source of loot, but uh, they redid it because what you used to have is loot containers on the end here. Um, I'm not seeing. They used to have an entrance on the top here where you can actually do things. I'm not exactly sure what that is. Um, I'm going to put some shots into that. No. Um, to curiosity. No. Um. I'm not feeling it, to be honest, guys. Uh, let me just uh, just pop a fruit pie. Maybe there isn't much in here. We're kind of go in underneath here and see what we can find. Um, no, we'll just put down. But we've got. So I'm not exactly sure what's inside there. What we got um, in the way. There's only shutter doors in here, so. Um, why do I get the feeling that if I put anything on there, it will 
Uh, we're gonna get like rushed. I can hear. Oh, go away. Oh, oh, okay, you're one of those, are you? You're just a... You're just a random visitor that's trying to fry me. I was quite lucky to get away with that, actually. <laughs> I mean, killing none of those is um, quite useful. You can see you get 11 meat from them. It's not like, you know, it's... Um, put that in there. Haha. <laughs> right, what was I doing before that? He very rudely interrupted me. I was thinking about explosives, wasn't it? Because what I was going to do is, rather than shoot me way in, I was going to blow me way in, because I got a feeling, a horrible feeling that... There are bug uglies inside of here. Okay. What's that? That is going down, isn't it? Oh, that's up, 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 up. Um. Okay, we're we're double double team it. Oops. Okay, back to the... That was a waste of ammunition, wasn't it? Um, I'm starting to think that the patrol vessel base isn't much use anymore. Okay, we're just going to go up and take a look up here. Um... No. So where's the core? Okay. It's like a platform here. Um, with a couple of small loot boxes on. Nothing special. Um, uh, we'll take you. Yeah, they've definitely nerfed this. It's, as I say, it used to have some very nice loot boxes up, up on the ends, but I'm not seeing anything now. Um, where would the core be? I'm just very curious here, guys, so... What I'm going to do is cheat a little bit. I don't think there's going to be much loot, but I just want to know where the core is. So, um, just out of curiosity, because, um, you yeah. know, so what we're going to do is we can go to God mode. Okay, welcome back, guys. The core is actually up here. Um, I'm not really that inclined to waste ammunition destroying it because there's loot wise there's not much here and there, there, there isn't a very big fuel tank on it either so I don't think we're going to bother with that a um, <laughs> little bit of an anti-climax that is um, top tip don't bother with patrol bases unless you really need to get rid of a, an annoying patrol vessel and by destroying the I think or the way it used to be is that if you destroyed the patrol vessel HQ, the patrol vessel wouldn't actually respawn anymore. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll come in here. There's bound to be a spawn point just down there. There it is. Actually, one thing I did not do. Let me just, while I'm thinking about it, where is there was a on the outside of here. I'm pretty sure I, when I was attacking, I saw. Yeah, there it is. Um, nearly missed that one. 
to uh, yeah yeah nearly missed that okay and we're What we'll do is we'll just drop down the uh, the thingy bomb here and turn off the power thrusters. And this is a demonstration of what I was talking about. If I come here, oops, no, let's stand up and get out of the ship first. you deploy the tent that gives you a spawn point if you get killed uh, but I shouldn't be putting this in the ammunition controller uh, we should loot this guy there's uh, another fuel cell thing there right we'll just take a quick look inside yeah, you can see this is very similar to before. I think the difference is that this doesn't have a... And you've got the same level up there, but I think they find that the core's in roughly the same place. So we're probably not going to get a commander in here either. Got some mechs though. Okay. Um, okay. Defended by mechs, eh? Okay. <laughs> Just in case there is a commander in here, we'll stick with the uh, assault weapons. It will have Stick with the pulse rifle. I got rid of the Xerox laser guy. bit better than last time we these were not okay we're, we're being bracketed so Get rid of the mech. It's another mech just over there. pull back go and heal up and and work see how we go um do, do, do. oh 
Like we've destroyed the um, spawner on this side. We won't worry about the entrance there just at the moment. Um, Aha, got him. I can hear and there's another guy just there. Got him. Right, what we're gonna do is see if we can trigger the upper levels. Whoops. Get rid of you. Um. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Got trapped on the door there. You were shot by a mechanoid. Yes, thank you, game. And what should now happen is we will come up with a tent. That's a survival tent. There we are. And uh, well, that's a good demonstration on how the survival tent works. Okay, we got looks like the the mech roboty thing has come out from inside. So, um, okay. um reload. Where are you? I think he's gone back inside. I'm um, just going to run round. Double check. We, we're going to stick with what we were doing. So this very much does look like it's for mechs only. Um, there's another one just there. <sighs> Not allowed. Here's the one to the next level. We've cleared this room. And then, oh, it says not allowed. That's probably the roof then. So it doesn't look like we're getting anything from here. Sounds a little bit like we've had, we've got a visitor. It's probably a drone by the sound and the fact the amount of ammunition that's been expended. Uh, let's just go and have a quick look. Okay, that was that that was that mechy annoying roboty thing coming out from the door because I walked past it. Uh we'll just come in here. Let's recharge all our stuff up while it's doing. This can go in the fridge. This can go in the container controller. Get rid of some of that stuff. Whoops. Um, let's build up the. Yeah, I think we've successfully. My. Right. Yeah, you annoying little tyke. Right, I think we will breach the room. Um, da -da -da. Oh, 
Do you have get rid of you? Of course, if you go in through the capacity here and destroy the core, you don't have to you don't have to destroy that thing. Okay, we've got a little bit of ammunition. Uh, got some pentaxid and titanium. Whoops. Of course, it goes out saying he goes through the wall. Um, and again, here's the. Oh. Um, I think we're getting. Uh, right, just gonna have a quick run round and. Yeah, that was heard from the explosion there that that was actually a uh, drone that's coming. We might be able to loot that. Just just pick up what's in here. Again, I don't think we're going to get that. But we got some power cells above. So, oops. Aha. Uh -huh. A little bit of pentaxid. Take that. Um. nothing in here this is like a kind of another side entrance not that you'd ever really want to use it um just a couple of oxygen bottles uh, i think that's energy tablets or indigestion tablets i think and then energy pills proof against stun being stunned although there's a little bit of a contradiction there in the sense that you get stunned you're in trouble anyway um, just take you take that one uh, take that and of course we'll steal the fuel what little fuel there is um, and I think that is about it guys nothing a little bit underwhelming but um, we've kind of cleared out a little bit what I'm, I am curious about again this is the entrance into there is what's at the top um well there's another loot box just in here take the whoops <laughs> game work just take that On that one, and we'll just see what's at the top here. You never know, sometimes there's an odd loot box or something kind of stored up here, but nothing. Um, and that is it. We've taken down another. DOI. Um, take the radar, and of course, what we've got round here is a nice big uh, an ion cannon. Um, got some zircosium from that. That's good. Um, electronics, and that is about it. Um, double check everything here. We'll pick up the tents. Um, basically now we've kind of chipped our way down into here. Now there's two defense bastions here but they won't have commanders in either. Um, we've got the temple, we've got a major vehicle depot, we've done the colony. Um, I think I think just to wind up the video, because I'm running out of time, I'm just going to scoot over and check out this vehicle port and see what defences are on that. Um, where are you? Uh, 
Where is the... So we're just going to take a quick look-see at this. Because this may have potential, plus there's several of them. I mean, if they're relatively easy to take down, we could do a bit of a clean swoop, but if they're going to involve lots of kind of hacking and slashing to get to them, it may not be quite so good. Right, we're just going to get rid of the tag again. Now we've found it in all the Merc. Um, right, we've got ground defences here. Okay, this might... Okay, we've got one, two, three, four turrets on the top. Okay. Put away. Ahaha. Um, and they've got... This one's actually got ground troops around it as well. So I think what we can do is sneak up here. Follow away, follow away, follow away, follow away, follow away, follow away. That sounds a bit like an artillery cannon. Um, uh -huh. That was a little bit too close. That might be major vehicle depot. Might be a little bit too much of all the supporting fire. If it didn't have the supporting fire, um, we might have been in with a chance. Yeah, we'd have to do a, a kind of a series of fly past attacks on this one. Oh, we're a little bit deep into opposition territory. Aha. And of course we've got drones hanging around as well. Okay, I'm being a bit silly here, so time to leave. I've probably damaged my the, uh, the MX-5. Right, we're just going to land here. And we'll see what the damage is. Um... Not that bad. Uh, we've lost some blocks on... Oh, haha. <laughs> Famous last words. Not that bad. Um, we've certainly taken some damage here. Um, um, I think what we've lost on this side is... A major wing just in here. Um, right, it's just we lost blocks from the front uh, here. Yeah, what we've lost is this wing here, and we've also lost a wing off the back. Um, have we lost anything inside? We've lost got damage to the floor. Um. Okay. Um, we're going to have to do a little bit of a repair session. In fact, this is probably going to be a good argument for a repair bay. Yeah, we've lost the... So I'm just going to repair up here. Yeah, this is one of the weaknesses of the MX-5 is the fact that what you get in here is the... what's left of the, the blocks itself. Um, the wing. So if you look kind of... we go around here 
Um, we lost that wing. And what we got here is wing 69C. Anyway, guys, this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. What I will do is do the necessary um, off camera to get the MX-5 fixed back up again and ready to go. So until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.